Aaron's Fox has been building fire engines since 1852 and still are. Millie is the 68th of 85 in the Nepper Fox series, built from 1947 through 1955, and is the last made before Aaron's Fox moved out of Cincinnati. She served Fire Company No. 1 in New Milford, New Jersey until 1973. I have been her third owner since 1979, drove her from New Jersey to California in 1982, completed her restoration in 1993. Millie is family, raised my kids and grandkids around her. Ed Haas photo at West Sacramento, California Car Show, May 5th, 2019, where we won Best Truck. Her name is Elsa from the movie Frozen. This truck isn't what I would call restored, more like just spruced up a bit. I still use it often to haul gravel, topsoil, and compost. The engine is a 250 straight six from a 77 Chevy pickup, and the brakes have been updated to use a modern dual master cylinder, still mounted under the floor. This truck has a winch, fender mounted heater, hard top, and swing out tire carrier. It's been in parades and driven to truck shows as far as 150 miles away. It was used many times to rescue other old trucks, including Max, Rockways, an FWD, and a flexible bus. It has been in the family since 1984 and is now mostly used to plow snow from our driveway. I have owned my 1953 F-350 for over 25 years. It is a very usable truck and hauls anything you put in it. It can be shown one weekend and haul some stone the next weekend. It runs a 76 Ford 390 cubic inch motor and has a 74 Ford one ton rear end with 373 gears and turns heads with all truck lovers everywhere. This is a tandem tow truck with a Holmes 700 tow deck, a 30-ton drag winch, and a front-mounted winch. It was originally purchased by the BC Electric Company to assist in moving around vehicles and buses which were out of service for one reason or another. I eventually went to work for the successor company to BC Electric and used to drive this to bus rodeos and other community celebrations. I purchased the truck after I retired and will restore it to its original livery. This is an original truck that has been in the area all its life. It was sold new in Fremont, Ohio and was used by a construction company for many years. The construction company was purchased and the truck was adapted with a winch and went to work as a tractor pulling an asphalt machine. When I purchased the truck in 2005, it had been sitting for 15 to 20 years. I guess you could call it a barn find. The truck has the original 150A six-cylinder engine and runs very well. I purchased this truck out of Colorado, but it was originally from California, which makes it fairly clean as far as rust goes. It has a GMC 350 V8 engine, swapped out for the original 6-226 flathead, 
four-speed transmission with granny first gear and new process transfer case from the same GMC truck. The front and rear differentials are original wheelies. The cab has been replaced with one from a 1955 or 56 truck. The wide wheels are factory as it was built for state forestry service requiring a wide tire. Originally delivered in Camden, New Jersey, just across the river from Auto Cars plant in suburban Philadelphia, this DC-100 tractor with integral sleeper was repowered and restored by the late Del de Young of Wisconsin in approximately 2012. Powered by a 350 Cummins, it retains its original 5-speed double overdrive and 3-speed Brownie. Fire Replicas is selling 1 50th scale models of this actual truck, available at firereplicas.com. I want to tell you about this 1954 Kenworth that I rebuilt. The truck was well worn out before it went through a complete 100% restoration. The truck was sold new at Roberts Kenworth in Seattle, Washington to Leonard Johnson for the timber industry. Serial number 63451, it's a number matching vehicle restored per the build sheet. Cummins model NHB 220, serial number 129589, Fuller 10B1120, Dana 8031G Auxiliary, Henderson Walking Beam Suspension, and 240 inch wheelbase. Only one of less than 1,000 engines painted yellow by Cummins. Mary Higgins LTL. Her company delivered lumber from the state of Washington to San Francisco. 262 Cummins Turbo with Jake and 5 and 3 transmission restored 10 years ago by Mickey Delia. Dash and radiator shroud surgical stainless. Interior hand stitched elite captain's chairs. Three year build. I'm proud to own a piece of trucking history. This Brockway was originally purchased by GLF Agway in Ithaca, New York. The restoration was started in 2001 and completed in 2008. The truck originally was equipped with a 42BD-427 flathead continental six-cylinder gas motor, a fuller 5A430 overdrive transmission, and an Eaton 2503 two-speed rear with 671 to 913 gears. In 2016, the original Continental was replaced with a 5.9 Cummins from a 1995 Ford F800. The original transmission was used, but gears in the rear were changed to 543 to 739. found this treasure in 1978. I called the owner just in time to save it from the car crusher. 
I was especially looking for a Chevrolet sedan delivery that was complete, original, and intact. In 1993, I sent it to a body shop for body off restoration to its completely stock original condition. Has original drivetrain, painted its original glacier blue. Has original six cylinder 235 engine with three speed transmission. Original production number 8,811 units. Options, passenger seat, heater, oil filter. My dad bought this truck in 1958 and modified it for use as a mobile home toter. The wheelbase was shortened to 96 inches and the custom bed is built of 3 8 inch and 1 half inch steel plate. Dad installed a Ford 317 V8 and 5 speed transmission. It was used in our family mobile home business until 2005. I began restoration in 2018. The bed and all sheet metal were sandblasted. The cab needed considerable work and is getting close to paint. I hope to have it driving by the end of 2020. Search YouTube 1955 Dodge COE. Our 1955 Kenworth named Pepe, 10-year restoration slash build. Our first trip in Pepe was the 2014 ATHS National Convention and Truck Show in Springfield, Missouri. This butterfly hood conventional has a big cam 3 400 Cummins, Spicer 5 and 4 transmissions, 370 rear axle, 220 inch wheelbase, aluminum cabin frame, air conditioning and power steering. Paint, Pepsi White, and Pitch Black. 